here we go. Again, this one is pretty, this side is pretty prominent. There is a fold right here and it comes up and down like this. So it disappears behind all these eyelashes. So there's, there's a little eyelid fold for you. There's a sharp dark tone right here, which I'll just put in for reference really quick. Now this eyebrow is a, starts about right here. So again, I'm just gonna go in and put the individual hairs in. And um, let's see, this goes in about right like this. And this eye, this eye brow thins out as it goes to the end. So got a little tail going on on this one. So let's go ahead and uh, pencil in the, the iris here. So again, I'm keeping everything constant. There's a, there's a little slight white tone here, which I'm going to put back in here. I'm just going to leave it open like that for a second. Let's see. It? Yeah, almost. This side's actually. Stand back a little bit. Yep, I got her eyes crooked. So I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom of this eye here. Bring her eye back up. I'm going to bring it up a few millimeters here to, to kind of compensate a little bit for what I did. Add all the tone back in. I'll just fix it later. So one, one, one really important thing is that you do have to stand back once in a while and look at your work. And uh, once you do that, you'll realize that, you know, you, you do make a lot of mistakes and which is what apparently I'm doing right now. So, so there you go. Okay, to got that middle line here. I don't really need that reference point anymore as much. So, so let's put, That's a nice sharp tone here, which I'm going to put in. Oh, by the way, I'm just using a regular 4B pencil right now. I'm going to use the 4B pencil for the entire uh, drawing. This will be a relatively, hopefully a relatively quick one here. So now I've gone to her nose. I notice it comes out sharply like this, and then it curves down. Um, there's an inclination of a nostril right here, which you can just designate with the little black mark here. And then it goes in. Let me make sure I just got the nose here. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Sorry about that. All right. So. And it's toned on this side. Obviously, there's a dark shadow on here. From the light probably shining directly above her, uh, above her head here. Take this out really quick. All right. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start toning everything in right now, just just from what I have uh, to start. So remember I said don't leave anything untoned. There's really no such thing as a white, you know, white bright area, you know, unless you don't want like uh, overly high contrasting. Uh, Features, which you know, it's, it it is it is a it is a different style. Usually, I don't like to do that. Um, I like to put I like to put a little bit of contrast in my work. So, um, let's see. This is very dark here, well, shadowed. So I'll put that in there really quick. And then looks like it extends down like this. So the nose goes back, comes up. All right. So right here it's a little darker, but I'm going to tone this whole thing in, shade it a little bit. And of course, you know, whatever, whatever tone that you feel is unnecessary, you can easily take out with an eraser. Again, that's the beauty of a, a pencil, it's very forgiving. Let's see. So. And this is all toned too. All right, so immediately I noticed is that this is a little darker than the rest of it. And there's a distinctive shape to the shadow. It's almost, it's basically triangular. So let me put that in here, right here. And then 
more tone on the nose. And then a little bit more tone on the bridge of the nose right here. It's actually a little darker, bottom of the nose. So, it's like darker, darkness right here. This is like pitch black right here where a nostril goes in, but then it slowly fades out a little bit. The other nostril is right here. Am I catching it on camera? Good. Let's see, now she's got a slight bend here and move. It curves up a little bit, which means I can get rid of this tone right here. She reshape her nose a little bit here. There we go. Should we take all of this line out here because I want I want more tone. I don't want I don't want line, so we'll just put tone here instead. There you go. So basically, what makes up uh, shapes on on um, on a realistic drawing is, is just the the difference in contrast to the different tones. So I mean, I let this side clear, and this side has a tone on it, which makes which makes you think, okay, there's something popping up out of there. But I can easily just go in there just like this. And I can just add a little light tone on there. You'll still see the nose, and it still pops out to you because it's a, it's a contrast. All right, so let's go back over here. I usually draw left to right, but I'm just kind of breaking that rule at the moment. Sorry. There you go. I just noticed that you can see a little bit of the white of her eyes on here. So, so make sure you just pay real close attention uh, to the to the uh, the details because that that'll really bring your drawings to life. Um, down here, there we go. So tone on her forehead like this, then darker tone on this part on her brow. I'm just basically mapping in some some tones haphazardly. I mean, this, it's not pretty, but you know, it, it it basically tells me where everything sorter really is. I want to run off the page for for hair here, so um, let me just make something up really quick. So her hair goes up this way, and then it goes all the way up over here. So again, I'm gonna run off the page. So but there's a dark shadow right here. So let me put that in. And then I'm going to shade in the rest of this stuff here. Darker over here. All right, so I got a start of a face somewhat, you know, not pretty, but it's, it's getting there. I mean, it's, it's, it's all on how, how much time you're willing to spend on it and bring out and flesh out the details, you know. So make sure you're not rushing through your drawings just because you start drawing and something doesn't look good and then you give up and you know basically you lost right there. So make sure you don't do that at all. Just keep on working with it. I mean, believe me, I've, I've had plenty of uh, disappointing drawings, so <laughs> I'm sure everybody has. And then, but then I, I, I used to get really discouraged and I just stopped doing it and then I lost because of that. Now, let's see, shape of her eye. So this kind of uh, curve uh, follows the, the curve of curvature of her uh, eyeball because there is an. Uh